Sharp Snacks, Episode 1, Bagel Pizza. So what you're going to want to do is get your favorite bagel, split it open, stick it in the toaster because you want to get that nice toasted edge. Then we're going to get some marinara, some pepperoni, and some mozzarella cheese. So since the bagel has a hole in it, we want to cover that up so all of your goodness doesn't run out the center. So we'll take a pepperoni and cover up each one of the holes. Then we're going to get our marinara out. And we're going to be pretty liberal with each of our ingredients. We're going to throw a few spoonfuls of the marinara right here on the center of this bagel. We're going to spread it out real nice and neat. And once you've done that, we'll go ahead and move on to our cheese. And make sure that you are, again, liberal with the cheese. I like to just reach in there and grab a big handful and dump it right on top. Just like that. Now, we're going to open up our pepperonis. And you can get whatever pepperoni you like. If you like the turkey pepperoni, yeah, whatever. But the regular pepperonis are my favorite. I also like the little cup and crisp. Those are really good, man. They get really crispy. And I like that flavor of the crispy pepperonis. Something I didn't mention here is that I have already turned the oven on to 550 degrees broil. Sharp Snacks is brought to you by Protec, Medford, and Heretic Knives. Here are three of my favorites. This is my Rock by Heretic Knives. This is actually a prototype number four. And then the Medford Nosferatu. Now this is a actual a, a manual. It's got the sheep's foot with the button lock. Super smooth. Love it. And here's my sexy Pro Tech. Oh, I love this thing, man. It's got the sterling silver skull and the bricks and barbed wire design on the outside. Love it. All three of those are three daily carriers. Now back to the pizza. Here we go. I kind of folded up the corners of the aluminum just to make sure it doesn't leak any cheese in my oven. And I'm going to set this in the center rack. Again, I had it on broil. And we are going to get those pepperonis nice and crispy looking. And it's getting there. Now let's check it now. Ah, uh, there it is. That's what we're looking for. That golden brown goodness. Now once you get it out, um, I strongly suggest you let these things set for about five minutes or so. Because obviously they are very, very hot and they're thick, so they take a while to cool down. It might feel kind of cool to the touch, but they're still gonna be scalding hot on the inside. Look at that gooey, cheesy goodness, man. That's it. I think you guys ought to give this a shot. You can literally make these things after you've done it a couple times in, I mean, maybe five to seven minutes from start to finish, plus your cool down time. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Tune in next week for another episode of Sharp Snacks. Thanks for watching and bon appetit.